What's going on guys? Welcome back to Pat Outdoors. Hope you're having a great day. The 72 volt battery pack that I ordered from BTR Power for my MX2000 build has not come in yet. It's still gonna be a couple days. So for now, we're actually gonna mess around with one of my other bikes. Somebody recently commented in one of my videos that I should just throw 48 volts on this MX350 and overvolt the hell out of the stock motor but I'm thinking that that's just gonna burn out the motor immediately. So I'm not gonna do quite that, but I will meet you in the middle and I am still gonna overbolt it and I'm gonna do a couple more mods to maximize what I think the stock motor could handle. I do have a ton of Razor spare parts from my previous experiments, such as the fast scooters kit, the stock MX650 controller, 36 volt battery pack, from my other projects. So let's start tearing this thing apart and see what we can make out of it. All right, so this is what the 350 looks like, completely stripped down to bare frame with the drivetrain still installed. You'll see that there are two really tiny batteries. So anything is gonna be an upgrade over this. It's only 12 volts, seven amp hour. And even like my SLA batteries from the 650 were 12 amp hours. So really anything is an upgrade from this. This is a 24 volt, seven amp hour setup. I do have a 36 volt, eight amp hour battery by Hylong. It's got a BMS on it. Uh, so I think I'm gonna use this combined with my MX650 original controller that I used for maybe three weeks. This one has a 30 amp rating. So this is definitely gonna be quite a bit of an upgrade versus what's currently installed on this. Like you can see the size difference in the controller versus this little little baby controller installed on this thing. So I left the cover on just so I can review how the wiring works since I'm likely gonna reuse the on off switch on this and rip everything else off. Just made more space and removed everything else that we're not going to be using. I did see something concerning though. The connector going to the stock motor is, looks like it's been melted before. So I'm not sure if there's something actually wrong with this motor or if it was the controller. What I'm going to do is actually borrow another connector from one of my other projects and test out if the motor even works. Okay, we got everything fully hooked up temporarily just to test out if this motor's burnt out. Shows full power. That's a good sign. But it's spinning backwards. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna switch the black and the red wire around. I think that should do it. Got the wire switched up. Hopefully nothing goes wrong. All right, not burnt out, it works. I'm thinking of just tying the 650 controller right up here and securing the battery over here. Everything should still fit in the box properly. And now that we know that this motor's not burnt out, I'm actually gonna replace this 11 tooth sprocket with a 13 tooth sprocket so we can force more speed out of this thing. There appears to be a minor difference in how the center is milled. 
The original sprocket is like a D shape or a D bore. And then this is flat on both sides. So I'm actually gonna modify the 13 tooth sprocket to just carve out this one flat section in order to replicate the shape because I'm determined to get more speed out of this bike. And since batteries are expensive, I decided to wrap mine in foam to protect it from any excess vibrations. I don't want to damage another BMS. The lithium battery is now well secured. It's cradled like a football, so it's not going anywhere. Uh, new controller, secured in place. New throttle, secured in place. Looks much better than that 10 year old one or whatever that was on it. So I'm gonna run the wiring for the throttle and the brakes through here. And then I'm just gonna clean up the wiring after I install the headlight. The new headlight is now installed. It's gonna look just like my main bike, but like a really small version. Uh, I haven't wrapped up the wiring yet. I'm still waiting for a switch, which I'm planning on mounting either here or here. I haven't decided yet. But when that comes in, I'm gonna wrap up the wiring and clean things up more before we put the covers on. If you are interested in checking out this light, it is by Nylite. Here's the part number. I actually got this from Amazon, so I'll leave a link in the description for all the parts that I use for this project in case you're interested in checking them out. At this point, I think the sprocket has been modified just enough for it to sit perfectly flat on the motor. The sprocket installed nice and flush. There was no need to extend the chain. The tensioner is just right amount of tightness. I did switch the fuse on the power cable from 20 amp to 30 amp. Since this battery has a BMS and the controller is rated for 30 amps anyway, I wanted to make sure that there's no limitations on juice. So we're gonna temporarily hook up the power cable to the cover just so I can turn the switch on and make sure that all the powertrain components work properly. Turn it on. It's got some juice. It's still crazy to me how light this bike is. I can actually carry the whole thing with one hand. Like it's probably like 40 pounds with the lithium battery. I am still waiting for a few parts for the MX350 before I put it back together, uh, like the light switch and a couple aesthetic items. But I am excited to see how fast this thing's gonna go when it's fully put back together. I'm thinking it's gonna go at least 21 miles an hour uh, considering how light it is and um, it's definitely got a lot more juice than a, any stock one 
Uh, actually, I have no doubt that this is probably going to be one of the faster ones that has the stock motor, MX350 motor, still installed. Comment below how fast you think this bike's going to go. Also, let me know what else you want to see installed on it. But if you enjoyed today's video, do me a favor and hit that like button. And if you like this kind of content, want to keep up with some of my projects, such as the Micromoto build, consider subscribing to my channel. But this is going to be it for today. Thank you for watching.